The gentleman from Kentucky is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Horwitz, did Lisa Page work on the Hillary email investigation? Uh, she did. Did she work on the Russian investigation? Uh, she did. Did she work on the Mueller investigation? Uh, yes, she did. When you or your uh, people asked her why she used her FBI phone for personal purposes, what did she tell you was the predominant reason? Um, well, as she indicated, she and Mr. Strzok were having a relationship and they were using the phone to communicate with each other for that purpose. To cover up the affair, to keep their spouses from knowing? Yeah. So um, she texted something that you asked her about. This is an April 1st, 2016 text. I want you to tell me why she told you she sent this text. She said, so look, you say we text on that phone when we talk about Hillary because it can't be traced. You were just venting because you feel bad that you're go gone so much, but it can't be helped right now. Why did, she, why did she, what did she tell you was the reason she sent that to Strzok? Um, the, um, she told us this was an example, and I'm looking at our report here, um, why she had used the phone to keep this information from her spouses, and this was an example of that. And in this text, she, she said she was coaching Strzok, basically, on what to tell his wife, correct? Correct. So she was telling him how to lie. She was using a government phone to tell her husband how to cover up an affair, coaching him on how to lie. Um, and using the pretext of this investigation to carry out this affair with her co-worker. She, so she coached her co-worker and lover on how to lie to his wife, used government resources to do it, in the pretext of this investigation, to conceal what they both knew was immoral behavior. Did that give you any reason to doubt her testimony to you in the interviews? I think, frankly, as to all the individuals, when we go in, we come in with a healthy skepticism, as you would expect us to, and um, I think we, you know, treated her no differently than when we treat others in terms of going in and looking, and I think, you know, as you can see here, we express our skepticism of some of the explanations we got. Your, your report's really good at uncovering bias. I want to talk about some bias that has been uncovered by your report that's not been covered in the news. I want to read you five texts. March 12, 2016. Page forward in an article about a conservative candidate in Texas stating, what the F is wrong with these people? Strzok replied, that Texas article is depressing as hell, but answers how we could end up with, with Trump as president. August 26, 2016, Strzok sends to Page, just went to Southern Virginia, Walmart, I could smell the Trump support. August 29, 2016, Agent, uh, Agent 5, to Agent 1, I would rather have brunch with Trump and a bunch of his supporters like the ones from Ohio that are retarded. October 28, 2016, Agent 5 lists things that he's sick of, and he lists on there the average American public. And then on uh, November 9, 2016, unnamed FBI employee says, Trump supporters are all poor to middle class, uneducated, lazy, P.O.S., we know what that stands for, that think he will magically grant them jobs for doing nothing. They probably didn't watch the debates and aren't fully educated on his policies. This is bias of the FBI at the top level. I'm not saying at the field agent level. They probably more reflect the American people. But at the top, highest, most level, you have a bias against the American people. And this terrifies the average worker who's paying their salary with their tax dollars. So I think that's something we need to look at. I want to yield my remaining minute to the gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Jordan. I thank the gentleman. Uh, Mr. Horowitz, James Comey, uh, Director of the FBI, a Andy McCabe, Deputy Director, uh, Chief of Staff Jim Rubicki, General Counsel Jim Baker, FBI Counsel Lisa Page, and Deputy Head of Counterintelligence Peter Strzok. These were six important people at the FBI, is that right? Uh, correct. And they were the key players on the Clinton investigation and on the Russian investigation, correct? They were certainly important on both. Has Mr. Comey been fired? Yes. Has Mr. McCabe been fired? Yes. Did Mr. McCabe lie under oath? According to your um, report? In our view, yes. Yeah. Is there a criminal referral for Mr. McCabe? I'm not going to comment on that. Has Mr. Rubicki left the FBI? Yes. Has General Counsel Jim Baker left the FBI? Uh, yes. Was he removed from his position prior to leaving the FBI? Um, I'm not sure of that. Has Lisa Page left the FBI? Uh, yes. Was she reassigned prior to leaving the FBI? I believe so. And has Peter Strzok been removed from his position as Deputy Head of Counterintelligence? 
Uh, yes. Now, Mr. Horowitz, you've been in the DOJ for 10 years. You've been inspector general for six years. You're chief of all the inspector generals. Have you ever, ever seen anything like this at any other federal agency in your time in the federal government? Six of the top people uh, fired, demoted, reassigned, or left? Um, I obviously can't speak broadly to other areas that I haven't known before, but yes, this is I've been in the, I've been uh, in this town less than half to, years. I've never see. seen anything like this. Even the IRS scandal didn't come close. Mm -hmm. Never. And this and again, this is not in any type of reflection on the rank and file agents who I know you respect, we all respect and do a great job. But these were the six key people. I have never seen anything like this in my time in government. My guess is there's not a person on this dais who's, who has as well. Gentlemen's time has expired. Um,